Hey boys, welcome back to some more regular life for be a pro career, and it is going to be, uh, well, episode fifty-one. But we're looking at uh, looking at some stats here. So as you can see, nine uh, nine tries, ten try assists, a field goal, uh, line breaks, tackle breaks, a lot of line breaks. But uh, the main one there, the ten, the main stat that I'm most proud of matches played 10 try assists that's the that's the kicker and we're actually topping the we're topping the um the 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 stats there and the, the line breaks we are obviously the line breaks are a little bit skewed because it just just the way the game is um you know obviously that one's a little bit it's always a little bit skewed because of uh yeah like I'm literally just repeating myself <laughs> like the game is. Uh, but yeah, the, the 10 try assists and I think, yeah, nine, nine tries. Excellent. 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 Uh, 12, uh, 12 games so far this season where, uh, we're, we're well on our way to, uh, to our debut season being a maiden Dally M award. I would, I would imagine, but, uh, taking on the Cowboys who, uh, Guy Hamilton, Michael Morgan, uh, Sam McKendry back, Cohen Hess, Tamalolo, Ethan Lowe. So the forward pack is not too dissimilar. Joe Tarpany, good signing. They also had uh, Moses Suley in the centers. So not honestly not a not a bad Cowboys outfit. Some uh, you know the the players you'd expect to still be there are still there, and then they've they picked up a few a few decent acquisitions. So should be a tough game. I didn't actually notice. I wasn't uh, paying attention to the ladder at all, so I'm not I'm not too sure how they're going. They're probably going okay, uh, but four tackle here. Cowboys are going to get their first uh, first chance of the game to put in a uh, bit of attack on our try line. So fifth and last now. Jake Granville still the dummy half of the Cowboys. He's uh, never a huge fan of Jake Granville. He was always you know he had he had a couple of really good seasons as a good kick. And uh, great tackle. I think it was JT charging down and just throwing uh, throwing the fullback back in the end goal. So Cowboys straight on the attack again with that repeat set. Uh, but I mean, Granville had a couple of really good seasons, but I was never a massive fan. He just, you know, he was quick. He was quick, but just not good service from dummy half, in my opinion. Just not good enough for, uh, for NRL level. And uh, I think that was his biggest, uh, his biggest issue. Just... Just passing was just not up to standard. So, yeah, I think uh, I think the Cowboys are looking pretty good now with, obviously, Robson is a really good signing. Um, and then the young fella, Ruben Cotter, looks like quite the uh, quite the player as well. So, I think they're in they're in pretty good stead now, the, the Cowboys. Obviously, had a terrible season, but they've got some they got some promise as Rankin puts a little chip and chase. He's going to regather and try in the corner. Jordan Rankin. <laughs> That was one of those times where um, I, I was sort of out of action. They wouldn't pass me the footy, just, you know, the way the game goes sometimes. And uh, I thought, you know what, let's uh, let's get him to a little, little chip and chase into the end goal. It, uh, it worked a treat as a kick is an absolute beauty. Just the hook from uh, from left to right on a left foot kick like that is not uh, not easy to pull off. As uh, crabbing and crossfield, beautiful ball to Siren and through the gap, all we had to do was call for the pass. I must have timed it just slightly wrong. Otherwise, that was a try for all money. As uh, I tried a little switch of play there, uh, one of the Cowboys defenders read it very well, though, rushed up and, and put pressure on. But thankfully, didn't lose possession of the footy. So last tackle now. Going to look to punt it across field. Not a great kick, but uh, who was this? Takarangi. It's going to swoop on it. Puts the chip and chase in, and he is going to score the second try of the half. Another little chip and chase. And again, I, I I called I called for the chip and chase because there wasn't really too much else I could do in that situation. Um, you know, I could have called for the pass, and they would have, like, swung it wide. It probably would have been intercepted. But, uh, you know, if I just left it for the AI, they just would have taken the tackle. So... I uh yeah once again just uh, just called for it and then we're gonna back it up with a with a sneaky little field goal, perfect positioning, thirty odd meters out straight in front, puts us up to thirteen points in the clear. So all of a sudden I feel like, you know this game doesn't even feel like we've been that dominant, but on the score sheet thirteen nil going into the break. I mean that that's uh, 
that's pretty that's pretty dominant honestly the cowboys have had a couple of couple of minor chances early in the half but they haven't really done too much with the footy and then oh, coming back from the break what have they done oh we would have scored but they the, the ref has pinged it for a knock on so we'll, we'll take the scrum feed but Geez, terrible work from the Cowboys there as uh, we look to go right, uh, left here. Jordan Rankin, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, I had to, to call for the ball. Uh, he was going to get tackled out. He was just standing next to the sideline. If he just ran, he could have actually scored a try, but uh, the AI got a little bit flustered, I guess, and then we're backing it up. Oh, man. We are just, uh, we're really taking control now. That was that was beautiful play. Luciano Lua hitting the line hard. He's been uh, very impressive in real life NRL. And right there, I mean, that's, that's fantastic. Taking to the line, taking our hits. I think it was uh, Tamalele putting the shot on, but uh, we got the beautiful ball away. The other defenders didn't really work together, didn't jam in. Hit the line, hit the hole, and uh, 19 points up. We're just uh, we're running right here. Unfortunately, Lachlan Coote is going to go straight through some uh, some flimsy defense, it's got to be said. The Cowboys with their first real shot in this second half. I finally got them to get some points on the board with Kyle Felt looking to uh, to make it six points. So still 13 points up. But the, yeah, the field goal... The field goal is very, uh, very handy because it's got us that uh, that three try buffer, uh, even with that uh, that try to the cows. So, the time, the time is definitely now on our favour. And I mean, the running of the game, we're just we're the team is gelling. We're playing so well, but uh, beautiful work there. That was uh, that was great play. But Kyle Feld is going to bomb the try. That was that was great play from the Cowboys shifting and left. Kyle Felt beat his defender one on one. And he uh, he went for the corner. It, it was a try saver by the by the fullback Bevan French, I think it was. But uh, yeah, that 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 that's a massive moment. If they score there, I still think we we've got the game in the bag. But uh, it definitely would have put them within a, within a shot. As uh, Rankin, I tried to. I, it was going to get caught. It wasn't a. It wasn't one of those times where I was trying to, you know, cheesily grab the try. He he was going to get run down. So I was trying to, you know get into space myself but uh, couldn't couldn't quite get away I, I was a little bit behind the behind the pace as uh, we try a little ball on the inside didn't really work so a couple of minutes left in this game it's sort of wiltering out here both both teams probably want to get in the sheds we've uh, we've had a dominant dominant victory the Cowboys with the, with a sniff at the end there if Kyle Feld didn't uh, didn't bomb that try who knows I mean they could have they could have come home with a wet sail, but I think, uh, you know, we did enough for, you know, the first 60, yeah, probably 55, 60 minutes. We played a very, very good game of footy. The last, the last 20, 25, it's, it's been a little bit uh, disappointing. We couldn't quite finish it off, but regardless, a fantastic game. Hopefully you are enjoying the series. Make sure to like and comment, and I'll see you guys in the next one.